to meet its climate goals and to stay competitive in semiconductor manufacturing and other areas of electronics, Europe will need to significantly increase its domestic production of critical minerals, particularly rare earth elements. Europe has a goal that by 2030, it will produce 69% of its electricity from renewable sources, producing 510 gigawatts of electricity from wind sources, and it will have 18 million European made electric vehicles. But it relies heavily on imported minerals to produce these items. Europe imports 98% of its rare earth elements from China, which dominates global supply. What efforts is Europe taking to increase domestic supply of rare earth elements? There are currently two processing plants producing rare earth magnets in Europe. One in La Rochelle, France, run by Solvay, which has existed since the 1940s, but was recently retooled to really focus on rare earth magnets. And second is a new plant built in Estonia by Neo Performance Materials that just had its grand opening in September. Where Europe lags is in domestic production of raw materials. There are numerous rare earth deposits in Europe, but there are no existing rare earth mines. The two largest projects were both recently discovered, one in Sweden, discovered in 2023, and the other in Norway in 2024, which is now the largest rare earth deposit that is known in Europe. Uh, but both are at early stages of evaluation, and it'll be some time before they could possibly become operating mines. In this competitive world where China has heavily focused on production of raw materials and processed materials for an electronic future, and the United States has taken great strides uh, under the Biden and Trump administrations to really support domestic production, Europe has lagged and will need to make great strides to stay competitive.